Hey, this is Jonathan from The Body of Evidence. Uh, today I want to talk about certain segments of the population who may be more vulnerable to believing in pseudoscience. We often hear about people in uh, the entertainment industry, like actors, being particularly susceptible to, uh, to this kind of nonsense. Gwyneth Paltrow is, of course, the uh, perfect example. Uh, but I wanted to talk about athletes as well. And the reason why I think uh, athletes are particularly susceptible to buying into a lot of health-related pseudoscience uh, is because uh, their body and their performance are really at the core of their career. And they're pushing and pushing and pushing their body to give the best performance it can give. And so they will be on the lookout for anything that will help them achieve this goal. So um, about a year ago, I was at a breakfast meeting with uh, people who have businesses and who are trying to uh, essentially uh, get together and share client base. And I was there with the person who designed our most excellent website. Uh, you can check it out at bodyofevidence.ca. And we gave a brief presentation uh, about the website. I talked a little bit about what I do as a science communicator and how I'm very evidence-based and looking at what the evidence actually says on matters of health. Once the breakfast was over, uh, one of the attendees came to see me. And she said, oh, that's very interesting. Um, here's what I do. I think you're going to be very interested in this. And she talked to me about USANA. Now, I had never heard of USANA before. I didn't know what it was. Uh, but she gave me this, this very pretty brochure. And essentially, I went home and I looked at it. And lo and behold, uh, this is exactly what one would expect. Essentially, this is a company that sells all kinds of supplements. It's a supplement company. They sell vitamins and fish oil supplements and glucosamine and ginkgo biloba and things of that nature. And as you can see from the brochure, I mean, it's very well put together. It looks great. Uh, the packaging is fantastic. Uh, so it looks, it, it looks very convincing to somebody who's not a scientist. And, uh, but supplements are a big industry. And if you look at survey data in Canada, for instance, there was a survey done for Health Canada, uh, which asked Canadians, um, do you use alternative medicine? And about three quarters of, of Canadians said yes. And when asked what kind of alternative medicine you use, the number one thing was vitamins and supplements. So this is a huge industry and USANA is, is part of it. Now, uh, does any of this work? Do we need any of this to be healthy? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. Well, fortunately for your wallet, but unfortunately for USANA. Uh, this is stuff that just doesn't work. And the reason why there are publications that seem to show that it works uh, is because research is very complicated. And when you, you can start with a finding in a Petri dish, but that finding rarely translates to human beings. There's a huge, as I call it, a huge gauntlet that needs to be uh, successfully uh, gone through uh, for a research finding, a basic research finding, to finally translate to human beings and be applicable in the clinic. And I made a video about this, which you can check out here, uh, about why uh, a lot of people like USANA will take these basic research findings and extrapolate uh, for humans and sell you a product based on something that was shown in a petri dish or in rats. So USANA sells vitamins. Now, Chris and I did a whole podcast episode about vitamins. You can check it out on our website, uh, episode number three. And basically, if a doctor does not prescribe you a vitamin for a very, very specific condition, you don't need a vitamin supplement. Uh, likewise, they will sell you fish oil. Now, fish oil uh, was a huge thing a few years ago. Uh, the problem is that outside of fish, as a supplement in a pill, it doesn't seem to do anything. There's also glucosamine, uh, which was a big thing many years ago, but apparently it's still something that it sells uh, for arthritis and these types of conditions. It doesn't work. Sorry. Of course, there's the word detox, uh, which should be a giant red flag by now. Uh, our body does not need to be artificially detoxified. We have a system in our body. We have organs uh, that uh, remove, that filter out bad stuff from our blood. Uh, it's the liver, it's the kidneys. We don't need to detoxify. But this is, of course, um, a word and a concept that is being used a lot in alternative medicine. The fact that we have all these toxins in our body, our body cannot cope with them, and so we need some sort of external 
treatment uh, to help get rid of these toxins. It's pure BS. There's also our good friend ginkgo biloba, which uh, was once thought to have an effect on cognition. And so uh, if you fear Alzheimer's disease, you take ginkgo biloba. The problem is it doesn't work. What I find really interesting is that they will sell you uh, these pouches of pills. Now, medical doctors are often accused by people who don't really like them of being pill pushers. But actually, uh, if you look at the, uh, the landscape more closely, the real pill pushers are people who are pushing for alternative medicine. These guys will sell you so many pills and supplements and you don't even need them. Of course, uh, one of the arguments uh, that USANA will make is that they have, and that was the same argument that was made by the, the woman of the meeting, was that they have a, a fantastic laboratory. I mean, just look at the picture, look at these people. They have actual machines, they're wearing lab coats, they're buying Eppendorf disposables. I mean, these guys seem to know what they're doing. The problem is, of course, that um, while I'm sure that the, um, well, I think that the, uh, the manufacturing process for USANA is probably a step above what it is for a lot of laboratories. It doesn't mean that what you're actually getting in the end is effective in any way. So while the pill might be free of contaminants, maybe, I don't know, uh, still the main product inside of it will not do anything for your health. They're selling you duds, essentially. Very well manufactured duds, apparently, but duds nonetheless. And then another problem with USANA is direct selling. The woman who uh, approached me is a person who just someday decided uh, she heard about the products, she wanted to sell them. And so there's this whole program where you register, they send you the products, you start selling them to people. Uh, they give you these, this grid where you can follow up um, on, on, on how big your uh, client base is and how it expands from month to month. And if you Google uh, USANA and multi-level marketing, you will find a lot of people who have very strong things to say about the kind of company that USANA is. And the thing about multi-level marketing is, um, is it's only the people at the very, very, very top who are making any money and the people below them are not making anything, despite promises to the contrary. And if after all of this you don't believe me because you would like to think that athletes know a thing or two about health, just look at who USANA endorses and uh, pays money to. That guy. That's right. Dr. Oz.